Hi, Rumians. I'm Trushnik. Thank you for being here and welcome back to another episode of Gong Soon Jun's campaign in our Total War Three Kingdoms series, where Gong Soon Jun is actually still alive. We are 62 episodes in, and our guy is. How old is he exactly? Let's see. He is 75 years old, and he's still alive and kicking. And we are also on the eve of a huge battle for the second of three emperor seats here in Xiangyang. Well, let's see if we can make that happen in this episode. But before we do that, I do have a reform to pick. Now, I was working towards the Mandate of Heaven. And in order to get there, the game is telling me I need Metropolitan Superintendents which will lower construction costs by 10%. That's not, like, fantastic, but... I mean, it's not something I need right, right now. I think I also need... I also need this one. Do I? Wait. Glowy, glowy things. Yeah, I, I think I... No, I don't. I'm not sure. Anyway, I'll get this... Because I do think I need that, and then we'll see afterwards what else we need. Now, was I ending a turn, or was I attacking? I don't remember. Maybe I should have checked. Let me see. No, no, no. We're still making the battering ram, so we'll continue the siege. I don't know what will happen in the cycling of the turn now we also do have money to spend first though so let's see um is there anybody who needs to be reinforced i think that would be question number one we could recruit a third general here these guys don't like each other so Liu Ji would be good, though. No, actually, we already have a strategist there. Liu, our ex-spy, he only likes one of them, so Liu Xie would be very unhappy to be in an army with two people he dislikes. Zheng? Zheng might make a good addition, actually. Same thing. Eh, but I would like somebody with some experience. Jai has the same issue. Hmm. Tung, though, is probably going to return from his assignment soon. We could use Tung Ming, finally make him a commander. It is an option. Now you are reinforcing. You are uh, running down to Lu Jiang. Hmm, okay. You can't attack because you're in rapid march. I still say Rapid March from the old Total War games. It's currently just called March. Now you, what were you doing? We could fight this already, but we can also starve them out and make them weaker. The thing is... The thing is, I want to get my armies down south as soon as possible. I don't want them caught up in the same area up north for too long. But I think for now I will uh, I will have them starve those guys out. Okay, so either I make a new army, which I don't think I need to. Oh yeah, you were in a bit of a pickle with three armies around you. That's right. Uh, you were coming down, weren't you? You are going to. Okay. Nah, okay, okay, okay. I guess I'll just build something. Now, I am only making 2,600 gold per turn, so I think I'm going to build something that will give me more money. So let's see if I can make something... Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Government workshops. 400, so that's 100. No, I need something with a percentage. Something with a percentage. Here, this thing. Yeah. There we go. That's going to help. And then we also have... Mail post... 25 to, to up to 50% income from commerce. 
We don't have a whole lot of commerce here. So that's not necessarily a good move. Let's look at this region, which is a little bit more stable. Shuofang, for example. But we don't own the whole thing. Wu Wei. The only upgrade we can do here. Lowers the upkeep for cav units, though. So that also does make sense. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, and the rest of the money I'm going to keep. Let's see what happens. I'm a little scared. I am still very uneasy that we are at war with two empires right now. I don't like it one bit. And I don't know if anything's going to happen to Gong soon over here. Oh, there's a different attack. Oh, okay. So the kingdom of Wu is attacking a city of mine, Yangxia. And I only have the garrison over there, so let's just delegate that. I'm not even going to bother, bother with that. I mean, we could probably do better. We might even be able to repel them, although I doubt it. Spear, they do have quite... No. No, no, no. Now it's fine. It's fine. We'll just take it back. My allies are helping. And they are not attacking Gongsun Jun. Good. He's coming up. See, I really need those guys to uh, to finish this. Okay, they are sallying forth. So I think what we should do is fight this on the battlefield. So I guess the siege for the Emperor's Seek is going to come in the next episode, unfortunately. Unless this takes like two seconds. Which would be good. But then we have a loading time! Oh no! <laughs> So, yeah, about the, um, I was talking, man. Yes, exactly. Zhang Wan. I agree. You need to say anything? Oh. Always the strategist, eh? Always the strategist saying, mm, well, you have to balance things out. That's the enemy army. We're gonna kill ya. Chu Show. You gonna talk? Maybe not. So, yeah, about the empires. Um. I'm pretty sure I have to... Because I was talking in the last episode about whether I should end the war with Suncha whilst I take care of Liu Bei. Now, I still want to do that, but I want to do it on my terms. And if I propose peace right now, it's going to be a very, very costly peace. So I, we have to find a balance. We have to strike a balance between getting the truce that we want and not waiting too long in case he does throw everything he's got at me and I can't repel it because I'm also fighting Liu Bei. So it would be great if I could vassalize Liu Bei as soon as possible after I take that emperor's seat. Maybe then he will agree to be vassalized and then I don't have to make peace with Sun Che because that will just be the end game right there. So that is also an option. Okay, um... No, 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 no. Let's see, we've got a hilltop over here. We have got a hilltop. Why are you hurt? I guess from the last fight. Oh yeah, look at them, they're very small. Now you have Gorilla. Uh, all of you have it. Yeah, but you're slow. Actually, let me just be able to fire as soon as I can. You'll have bigger range. And then the others will come and help you as soon as they can. Okay. You're gonna sit with them. Where are you? Oh, you're over there. Front line. No, that's silly. 
This is really silly what I'm doing right now. I guess you'll just be over here. Trying to close the gap a little bit. Maybe we can even do it like this. Something like that. Um, mm -mm -mm. You have Earthen Rampart. And you have Flames of the Phoenix. Okay. Horses. Our flanks. Number four. You need to be number three. Oops, come on. There you go, that makes it easier for me. And then you're gonna go from that side. You're gonna be number five. Oh yeah, we have reinforcements too. I forgot about them. Go. And then number twos. You're gonna even ride forward as well. And then our mounts. The reinforcements are coming from here. This is Shima's army. So this is an all-horse army. Come on, guys. Get over here! Because we have some shootings to do. Okay. So that guerrilla deployment was absolutely useless. And then you guys, again. Just want them to be in position, so I'm letting them run. You need to be in the middle. And these guys even need to come closer. You move up a little bit more. And you get into these woods. They're nearly in range. Let's fast forward it a little bit. I am on the hilltop. You can even go a little bit like this. Hang on. Because you guys... Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I'm gonna decline just because I'm still unsure how these guys calculate the intention or the relative strength, and then I'm gonna look at it again. You use some fire arrows on these dudes. What's your range? It's very little. Actually, you wait. You could duel. Oh yeah, this guy's weaker. So that is fine. Oh, hang on. You... Oh, you did that already? Okay. I'm not liking this. You go and shoot them. I need my horses to come in. Oh, well, you're just shooting at random people, aren't you? Okay, can you do somebody? No. Hang on. Let me just check what I'm doing here, okay? I have these two horses. You can come wreck these guys. Why not? Why not? I have another completely cavalry army coming in. Oh man, look at them. Gorgeous guys. Gorgeous! Shoot the spearmen, please. Uh, you are in skirmish mode. I will need half of you on the left flank. So, while you're on this side anyway... How about you come here? 
And then, are they coming closer or no? Yes, they are. Use your skills, man. You can do turtle. You can't. You can. And you can. Okay. Decline the things you cannot win. You come running back. Yes, we are you're covered, so that's good. You are covered. Yan Wen has emerged victorious. Fantastic. Okay. You come in. You go in. You. Get off your horse. Fight. Where's the other one? Oh, you. Come, come, come back, please. I do want you back. You are being sandwiched by everybody and their brother. That's not cool. It's actually very uncool. Not a very nice thing to do. You come help them. You are going to kill them. You're returning. I really need those horses. And I don't know what these guys are doing. Oh, these guys are not doing very well. Get out of there! Yeah, I put my horses in too slowly here. So that is a thing. Anybody who can use wedge formation should. You can't. You can be shooting those guys. You get off your horse and come help over here. You come here, attack them. Hang on, does anybody of you have wedge formation? No, okay. And then some of my archers, one unit is using flaming arrows. Stop doing that. Shoot the guys in the back, please. Oh, that's hard. Okay, just shoot these guys then, sorry. Just shoot the guys you can shoot. You compile in over here. Where are my horses there? Get them. And you go after them. We do have wedge formation. You come in, shoot. Okay, time for you to pile in here. You come help. You come help. You go attack them. You come back. Those crossbows are pretty strong. But we're doing well. Yeah, they're running. Everybody's gonna run. Everybody is gonna run. I mean, if you get these horses on top of your face, you're gonna think twice before continuing to withstand whatever is coming at you, right? That's the nature of it. Come help out, please. You can come in too, even though you're on foot. They're still pretty fast. Oh, we won. Okay. I do think I lost more than I should have. It is a decisive victory, but that's what was predicted. I don't remember. Hmm. But we'll be able to take the city in one fell swoop and then go south with this army. Both of these armies, actually. And one and Shimaji. Shimaji, sorry.
No, je me yeux. Oh, I'm confused. I haven't practiced my Chinese in a while. <laughs> Not that I can speak Chinese. I mean, my Chinese pronunciation, of course. Oops. But yeah, we've won this. These guys, the archers, man, and the trebuchets, they did a good job. Didn't use the horses effectively. Maybe the other, maybe Shuma's horses. I don't know. I, can, I can't see that. that. That's annoying. They should change that. They should patch it so you can also see the supporting army and see what they did. It used to be possible in other Total War games. I think you could see it. For example, Attila, I think you can see the supporting army as well. But here you can't. I don't know why they just didn't just put that in. I mean, this screen is pretty, but that's not everything. Okay. So we captured Bian Yan. Bian Yan. And ooh, he rivals Yan Wen, huh? He rivals some of our generals, actually. I'm gonna ex execute you then. Boom. And I told you I was going to capture you. I told you so. I told you so. So, same thing. He rivals Shrima, for example. So you're you're going to die, man. And I'm going to take your forged iron skill away from you. Let's replenish. Huh. Ah. Well, that was one turn. Again. <laughs> one turn. What you going to do? You're going to take your poopy head. You're mean. Mean woman. I'm gonna kill you for that. You know that, right? You're going to die. I hope you know that. Tong is also coming over. Everybody is piling into my lands, even from towards Dong, the imperial city, although that is pretty well defended, I should say. But yeah, they're everywhere. They are absolutely everywhere. So, oh, Liu Bei has signed peace with uh, Sun Chen. I hope he wasn't vassalized by him. Oh, oh, I was like, oh, but uh, okay, Liu Bei confederated Liu Zhang. So Liu Zhang is no more. We've lost Yang Zhang Xia, you know that, and uh, the farmland in Yu. Oh, we have another son, Gong Sun Yu. King Jifu has been dispatched in the kingdom of Wu. Good. Then we have some rival screens, which we don't really care about. Ancillaries, yes, we know about that. Character ra ranks, okay. That's good to know. Our Tayu is contested now, we know that as well. We've built merchant warehouses here. And we have some character developments. Gong Sun Ho is ready for duty. And Liu Ji is also ready. And we have some new people here. Wei Kong, is that not a... Wei Kong, is that not a... Legendary fella? Like a proper legendary fella? Not sure. Okay. Um, let me take stock of this because I just want to finish this now. I'll delegate that, of course. Now you... Maybe you should take that straight away. The um, forged iron scale. Because you did fight that battle, actually. But is this my son? No, that's not my son. Do you have a son of mine? No, no, no. Do you have a son of mine? No. Yan Wen should get it. Yeah, Yan Wen should get it. He deserves it. He he led that army. There you go, dude. Mm -hmm. You have champion's leather. That's pretty good. Okay. So, let me see. I could get... Roar of the Beast, which is good. Lowers morale. Ooh, better morale in enemy territory. We're gonna need that. We are going to need that tempered iron skin. Okay. Let's take this. And then we can keep moving. There we go. Though war brings chaos and disharmony to China, there is glory to be gained in battle all the same. As warriors clash on the battlefield, the victorious cover themselves in glory. One particular warrior excels, a unique talent that you would do well to keep close. We have a character that we've recruited. Who is that? We have secured Pingyuan. 
And Shima has gained a level. Wow. He is fantastic. Let's see. Scholarship. Feels 10% experience for his army. Wow. Uh, we could go for perception. Okay. Ambush avoidance and stuff. Flaming shot. <laughs> yeah. Kill them with fire? Okay, so you can't move anymore, but you can. We could move on Taishan. I mean, why not, right? There is a big army here. But if you can get it, you should get it. However, we do have a Kongbo over here. And Gong Soon. Gong Soon has to continue to follow her. You need to secure your land, man. You can't attack her. I don't know where she's going. She might go here. Maybe actually go to Luoyang. And because we also have you coming. So hopefully you can come and help out a little bit before they take too much of everything that we've got over here. Now Dong, he's in rapid march to Boo. So that is okay. We also have Kong here. Nobody really close. We have Gong Soon Dun, who is ready to take Lu Jung. So let's siege that down. Sunch is not going to like that. And then you might actually... Actually, we also have you coming in, huh? Yeah, so you need to go and kill them. They're gonna take Chun, most likely. And we have you. So many armies. So, so many armies. You're ready to assault, I think. You're ready to go. Let's see. You're standing over there, but I don't think you're going to be able to do much. I do need more armies, I think. Let me see if I can get another general in here. Okay, so Liu is now ready, but I don't really want him in there. Ooh, look at that! Oh no, that's Wei Kang, maybe? That could be good. Although, I would like to have a sentinel. Have really good swordsmen. Hmm. These two would work, but I don't know when they're coming back from their assignments. Can I see that? Eight turns. Oh, that's way too long. We do have new assignments that we can do. Okay, eight turns is too long. So that means I need to choose somebody else. So I think I'm going to go for... I do really want a sentinel. What about Song? And then you're going to swap these dudes for better dudes. Better dudes. And we're going to get, I guess, more of these better dudes. There we go. Uh, now we've got front line, front line, two, only two archers. Mm, we also have you. I think I'll get another Protectors of Heaven in here. I'll be broke, but that's okay. And maybe another archer? Archer Militia? You are normal archers. Yeah, another... Let's just do the militia. Then this army is full. So that's going to be good. And then in the meantime, you're going to go that way. Oh, actually, maybe you weren't. Well, it's too late now. Um, Nothing to build. You're going to attack 
a seat in the next episode. And then, let's see, we can do this. We can do, oop, fix it. Fix it. Anything else we still have to fix? Because I do think there was more burning, wasn't there? I thought there was more burning. Hmm. I did just siege a city down. Hang on, where was that? Oh, that was this. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to cut this episode here. And then next one, we are going to attack. Because I think... I think. Yeah, close victory. I do have a battering ram. I could wait until their supplies deplete, but I want to finish this as soon as I can. So I think I'm just going to attack. Show me a DJ. So we'll start the next episode off with that battle. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit the like button and please consider subscribing. It helps out immensely. New episodes in Gong Soon John's campaign come out about three times a week. And when they do, they come out at 8 p.m. CET. And I will see you next time.